Oh my goodness guys, we are back. I am tired from work, but we are still going to record some videos because I care about you all and I really just want to play some casual video games. Sorry if I'm going to be a little quiet in this episode, I am very tired, but I still really want to play. Let's carry on. We just got our Phoenix friend and he is fabulous and we're going to carry on now. Nice. Uh, I need to go sell some gear too, so hopefully do that as hasn't seen this many plants here before. Do we feel like flying? I think we should fly. I think we can handle it. Even tired. Somehow it's done. Oh, I do need to go sell stuff. Is there a merchant out this way? Oh. Lord have mercy. God! That's gonna have to wait a hot minute. I'm gonna go sell some. Yeah. You guys see how far that is? I haven't even been out that far. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? <laughs> You're back. Nice to see you again. I wonder if there's a money cap in this game. Thanks for stopping by. See you again. I really need to fix the textures not loading in. That is not a hardware. That is not my hardware problem. Like how it's even been around before Christ. <laughs> a very interesting note out there. Holy crap. I still have a very long way to go. Is there any flu things on the way? Would like to hit them up. Uh, game, are you not gonna tell me where this is because I'm on a broom? Beasts were made to be skinned and eaten. One has to always keep an eye on one's valuables. Oh, um, we're doing this the good old-fashioned way, so we're going here. Noted. Um... Okay. Um...
Yeah, okay, I get I get a little better. So I guess in all honesty I really could just cut through the forest. I wonder where Azkaban's at. <laughs> Nothing to poach in Aranger except spiders. Not worth the trouble if you ask me. Legs are far too brittle. Wait. A random chimney. Oh, wait, no. Little hamlet out here. Kind of cute. Revelio. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful.
Game is beautiful. Game is just downright beautiful. Braided Brock Burrow more times than I may go to Hogsmeade later, stir up some trouble. They need to remind us that we are still running things. You can try. See myself doing this sort of thing forever, though. Fancy I'll have my own operation worked out one day. People working for me. I think it's that over there. I'm just kind of grabbing these slew things so it makes it easier to travel in the future. My uh, future self will be very happy I did this. An astronomy table should prove useful once the sun's down. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Lucas. It's looking like you're in here somewhere. Really past it. Down there, under. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. Still oh, behind me. Rebellion. Might you have a moment for a worried wizard? Everything all right? Far from it. I wandered into a ruin and was attacked by spiders. Oh. If you've got some Wiganweld potion, though, I'm sure that would put me right. Spiders do tend to appear in ruins. Here, I have enough to spare. Stay away from the ruins, though. <laughs> <laughs> 
You've saved me life. Oh, I can never repay you. Yes, yes, I shall stay away from them, you'll see. Must stay away from ruins with spiders. Ruins with spiders. Oh, dude, you okay? I, I already know the trial when I see one. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Repairer. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. I haven't done one of these like since like episode five, eight. It's been so long. I feel like this one's gonna be very, very, very long. You all are ready. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Gryffindor, over here. Great. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> anyway... Don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> Get ready to lose, Gryffindor. <laughs> no idea where I'm going. Made it. Brilliant. Say so myself.
that wasn't too difficult. Someone down there, I just didn't see, I didn't get down in time. Brilliant flying, if I do say so myself. <laughs> now that's my <laughs> brilliant. bad if I do say so myself. That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puddlemere United. And my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me, I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. <laughs> Don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. <laughs> it's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. <laughs> Not bad. For a Gryffindor. You take care of yourself. Finally warming up to me, huh? I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. Oh yeah, we can go talk to him. Jeez. So far. Yep. Oh. Fun episode. Where's my favourite test flyer? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well, then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? I aim to make spint which is the most sought after shop in Ogsmead. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself. Just for the thrill of it. Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades. Prove the naysayers wrong. Made all the hard work worth it. 
I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. Revelio. Okay, well, what should we go do next? Well, I'm already at Hogsmeade, so I might as well do this, I guess. But, we'll find out on the next episode.